Where are we, Dad? We are uh, driving on the road that's between the Stipestones village and the Bond Field Centre. And uh, we're going on, on a walk that I've never been on before. Claire's been on it. She's going to show us. But we're going to go through past Pipstone Rock, which I think is the rock just over there. And it's looking very majestic. Yeah, it's going to be a good day. Today has been a good day so far. So what just happened, Dad? Well, we lost spot, and uh, I had to run all the way up this path here that you can see, and uh, got to the stile, and he still wasn't there, so I carried on as if I was walking back to the van, shouting, spot, spot, the whole time. And, uh, and then he started running towards me, which was lovely. Those um, Irish boys, Chris, did you see those Irish boys with the pink rucksacks? I did. They were taking my number so that they could phone me if they saw me. Great. Lovely. See the, the Irish, <laughs> the Irish come good once again on the uh, the 9th of June. God bless them. We owe so much in the great in great. Where are we heading to now, Mum? What's the next stop? Um, we go down here across a few fields and then just down into a valley. Lovely. It's ridiculous. Well, uh, <laughs> going, going back, back now. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just be up there. We can just. <laughs> I'm starting to detect a pattern in this walk. <laughs> Mum's going back at the moment to get her phone. We'll lose Isaac next. <laughs> yeah. Do you know? Dad, can you give us an update? A proper update? Yeah. We've walked from by the Stipestones car park. We've walked up past Nipstone Rock and down to the valley. We're, all, we're halfway between Nipstone Rock and Shell Pool now. Stop for our lunch. It's been lovely. Sun shining, We've got a bit of cloud cover. You can hear the babbling brook babbling away behind us. We've just seen we've just seen two little ducks. Mr. and Mrs. Duck. <laughs> lovely. Amen. <laughs> no spot. Oh, <laughs> 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 so Alright, you two, give, a, give us an update. Well, he, Jonah just asked me if I was going to go swimming, and I motioned with my hand, and I said, absolutely not. Bye. Now, in the Bible, it says Luke, who wrote the Acts of the Apostles, often says that Paul stood up and he motioned with his hand. And I often wonder what that means. What did he actually do with his hand? Did he go quite down? Or did he say, listen to me? Or did he say, let's sit down a moment, listen to me? <laughs> but it says he motioned with his hand. And he said... What have you got to say, Jonah? Um, I'm just like... Man! <laughs> I see, I see. You are a very religious people. You have many gods. I've even seen that you have got an altar to an unknown god. Well, what you don't know, I proclaim to you today. The God in heaven sent his own son, Jesus, and he died on the cross in Jerusalem. That's a little test for someone, isn't it? What does it mean? What did he actually do with his hands? He motioned with them. Who knows? Mystery. Jonah! Hi guys, sorry about my morning voice, but it's really cold here in the UK. Just 
just got out of the thing. Quite tired. Need to walk another mile. Just giving up on life, really. Oh well, come in. Give us an update, Dad. <laughs> well, we've been swimming, we've been walking. We've walked through the lovely, these lovely meadows of um, near the top of the Stiper Stones. We're just walking up to the Bog Field Centre, which, which we've been to before. And uh, we've had a lovely time. Absolutely lovely. It's been, the weather has been perfect. It's been, when the sun's come out, it's been lovely and warm. But then it soon goes in and you can cool down a little bit. That's been great. Um, and soon we'll be back at the Bogfield Centre and then home in our old van in the prayer wagon. And uh, it's been a lovely day. Amen. <laughs>